Dennis here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make two versions of an absolute classic and one of my favorite all-time cocktails, the old-fashioned. But first, it starts with good ice. Look at this beautiful ice. These large clear ice cubes are set to temper as he grabs a low bar glass. Then he grabs his Angostura aromatic vitas. These provide a unique flavor and aroma to the cocktail that is crucial to the old-fashioned. Then it's time for the sweetness. In this case, Allylo's simple syrup, a low-carb alternative. Three quarters of an ounce, and it's time for the spirit. For this version, he's using four roses, an incredibly smooth 90 proof bourbon that's one of his favorites. As he shakes his syrup all over the board, he adds two ounces of the mash into his glass, which seems to break gravity as the dimension of time is dilated. Now that the ice is tempered and become clear, he shakes off any excess H2O, and to prevent the splash in the first three rows, he uses his bar spoon to gently lower the ice into the glass, and so begins to stir. So what this is doing is it's actually chilling down the cocktail. It's going to dilute it a little bit, but not too much. If you have good quality ice, the surface here basically doesn't allow it to dilute too much. Just give it about 30 seconds of stirring. Once the temperature equilibrium has been achieved between the cocktail and the ice, he proceeds to his garnish. Although some individuals chastise the fruits of the old fashioned, the aromatics are superb and the orange peel itself... That smells delicious. Smells delicious. He excises the oils by squeezing the peel onto the glass and rubbing it along the rim. The peel is then placed inside the cocktail for presentation, but also for flavor. And with the importance of flavor, he chooses Luxardo cherries. Ooh. There's nothing quite like the sound of a new bottle, so he pricks two of these fantastic cherries onto a metal stick and lays them across the rim. Then it's time for taste verification. Ooh, that's good. That's good. All right, let's move on to the second one. The second version makes use of a cube of sugar. Correct, this is not low carb. Instead, substitute with an ounce of keto simple syrup, if you wish. The sweetener is added to the glass, and the next key ingredient is the bitters. There are zakalakalaka bitters, walnut bitters, aromatics, and many more. Hey, we'll be using two, orange bitters and aromatic bitters. These will be the yin and the yang of this cocktail version. Three boots boogies of each, and he adds a smidgen of dihydrogen monoxide, or H2O. This aids in the dissolving of the sugar cube, which he gently smashes with the back of his bar spoon until most of the simple carbohydrate has dissolved. For the spirit, he could use a high proof whiskey such as this one. If you do, you might want to add a tad more sweetener to taste. Instead, he will be using one of his favorite rye whiskies, Bullet, the one with the green label. As it is a rye variant, it is harsher on the palate. However, with the added bitters and the sugar cube, this version, it works extremely well. He adds a standard two ounces, and then it's time to play it cool. Using a spoon bereft of an angle, he lowers his personal iceberg and commences the spinning. In this version, the stirring not only helps to cool the cocktail, but to dissolve the sugar. Then, for garnish, she will again use notch. Mmm, still smells good. Much like before, he sprays, rubs, and cuts. In this version, he will also be using a sacrilegious maraschino cherry. And since he drips it all over the place, he cleans. Because, ants. Although these cherries are not a poor choice, in the presence of Luxardo cherries, they are rather inferior. However, for this garnish, it serves as a juxtaposition. Let's give it a try. Mmm, very different, but very, very good. So experiment, let me know how you make your old fashions down below, and until next time. Yes. Until next time, make sure to watch How to Make Simple Syrup or Dennis's version of a chocolate old fashioned. A large thank you to my Patreon supporters, and until next time, eat well and drink responsibly.